Hey Realm Walkers, I am Sergus Orbis, and I hope you enjoyed that little tune. Hope you're having a pretty good day, and if not, if you're having a crappy day, definitely come and hang out, because here, nothing's crappy. This is now episode 22 of Stranded Among the Realms, which is an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. Today we're going to be exploring the Swamp Herbarium, hopefully to get some more recipes and some more essences. Nothing pretty crazy, all straightforward, so we should probably just uh, get into it. So let's head westward through the swamp here, then we'll turn north and then east, and hopefully we'll run into the essence trader. The heck's a Bokax fish coat? Did I say Bokak? Bokok. Oh, it's those things. I didn't know they were called fish coats. That's really hilarious, actually. Solskitish. Okay, onwards. Is this a combat POI? What the heck is this? Oh, yep. Combat place. Time to go. Like, fighting stuff is such a waste of time. Oh, look at that little sapling. Just chilling, cruising around. I really want one around the estate. That would be so cool. Ow. That really hurt. Really, how does he know to attack me? See, he knows his turn is. Should be going after. Oh, come on. Man, that really, really hurts. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Seems like one. You have to be ready to flank these. Like, fighting these solo is impossible. Oh, 
Idiot. That was crap. Into it into it. Uh, uh. Imagine fighting three of those. That'd be so fucking awful. And trust me, it's coming. It's a coming. Once we get to Ascended, those things are gonna come in trios. Okay, what are we solving here? Agility? That went nowhere. So we're supposed to go up that way. Um, can we make that? Nouveau table. By the way, we're picking up all the sandstone because we're going to need it. Here, you can carry all that. Uh, let's see. Where now? North? And then eastwards towards the uh, essence trader? Sure. You know what, we need to look for chests. I guess this is how you're supposed to do the puzzle. You jump from here, over there, there, there. But um, you got this, and you've always got this. Agility places are always easy. Really, there's no chests anywhere? Lanes. <laughs> Alright. Back to the path. Let's uh, let's take a peek in here. There's probably nothing great in there. 
Maybe some food. Two tulip seeds. Sure. Or no hippos. Nice. Uh, what's this? Halite? No. What is this? I gotta say, this is just looks gorgeous. Ah, there's our essence trader with a widower spider next to him. How much food do we have left? Two minutes? May as well eat up now. Uh. Oh, there's two of them. Honestly, we're very undergeared. We can't even gather anything, so there's no point in exploring too much because we can't get more wood or more fiber. Fighting these things is kind of a, I don't know, slog. We don't even need their tier 2 stuff. We have so much, you know, predator meat and chitin and pelts. Just a potion, huh? There we go, blacksmith's hearth. I think that's pretty much all we needed, although we should probably get more iron. Oh, it's right there. Is it alone? <laughs> Fuck that it recognizes or saw us. Why is Carrie not attacking? <laughs> this please dude get it over here please Fight over here. Okay.
we're gonna end up pulling another another spider. Dang you, spider. I think I hit Carrie back soon there. Sorry, Carrie. Ooh, yeah, suck it. Okay, so this is the best thing against them. You just have to make sure that you have someone with you to actually tank those shots. Uh, what I do want to talk to is um, a Grendel. Block the Elder Spoil? What is that? Fighting a Grendel? Legendary fish goat. Okay. Are you going to say hi, bud? Okay, go, buddy. Have some water spinach. Seeking guidance. What's in here? Ooh. Tulip seed. Where's the uh, thingy? Up there? And um, how do we get up there? Nice, 72, 75 tier twos, and no recipe, so we probably got everything already. Oop, almost fell off. So, um, with that, should we just go back? Because if nothing's dropped, then we've got everything, so yeah.
I guess we um we dip out. Just looking straight at my respite there. That's kind of um unfortunate. Seeds. Oh, we don't have any room for this. Uh huh. And is this the first time we've gotten the Grendel's blessing? There's no way. Did we put it somewhere else? And here, perhaps. Oh, by the way, I've been gathering a bunch of uh, stone and wood as much as I can, because we're going to be upgrading to Tudor. We're going to need a whole lot of it. Why is this in there? Yeah, this must be our first bottled Grendel's blessing. Okay. Um... Put it in here for now, I guess. Oh, you know where we can put it? In the toolbox. Nope. With the rest of the tools. Ah, no room. We need bigger um, chests. You know what? We should do that right now. We've got the time. And... Huh. You know what? No. No. Let's not do that. Maybe we start the uh, build today. I wasn't actually planning to do that. I was planning to do the swamp all day. But if we've got everything from the swamp, then we should just build. Right? So here we go. I want to I want to put something down here, roughly at this height, maybe a little bit higher. That. Now we need higher, even yeah, we need it like even higher than that. Okay. Out of the way, Gary. Oh, there's gonna be part of this rock. Alright, as you can notice, oh wow, look at this. Get rid of that. So as you can see, like if we build now, we're gonna lock ourselves out of our own home. So what do we do here? Okay, we need forty lumber, thirty bricks, just to make this foundation. Can we even attach stairs to this? 
can. But it's still not high enough. Because it just blends. Because ultimately what I want to do is rebuild the house up on this on this side. And then have it overhang. And build a second foundation set down here. That connects to this. So it would technically be two buildings. One on top, one on the bottom. But you can go into either while inside them. So the goal is to have an upstairs that is a, a sleeping area and ready room. And this bottom area being the crafting area. The dedicated crafting area. So it's okay that this blocks it off because we're going to tear all this down. Of course, we can only do one floor right now because we only have basic tutor. We have to go into gloom in order to get the uh, upper floor set. So, we got a well to look at there. But at the very least, we can build the top floor first. That stone cuts in way too much. Wish you could destroy that. Oh, we're in need of a nap, so let's go take one real quick. What can we get rid of here? Because we need to put this tulip seed away. Yeah, let's, let's just put it elsewhere. Let's put it in our uh, toolbox for now. Sure. You know what, looking at this, this needs to be forward just a little bit more. So we need to undo all those. Grr. Okay, well, let's try this again. Let's put it a little bit for a little bit forward here. Yeah, that's much better, because we're actually digging into, or going out, like so. Because we want to cover the cliffside so that we don't see it when we're inside. Oh no. Why won't you go? Why do all other sides work, but not this one? Because it's not touching the ground when it terminates. Here, let's do this. Let's add a foundation here. Yeah. So if we destroy this, I'll probably get rid of that. Oh. Nice. Okay, what's our totals now? Okay, 48, 30, and 4. It's the same. Okay, 48 lumber, 30 bricks, 4 poles. Okay, to make bricks, we're going to need stone powder. 
if it's going to be a lot, a lot of bricks. Give the bricks, please. We need four poles, yes? Very nice. We should have six lumber somewhere. We do not. Alright, let's just wait for this. I need a few more bricks. Let's go take a look at the foundations. Not bad, not bad. The slats are going in that direction. We could have a door here, maybe? Or do we have a door on this side? So we have a welcome area? So you mean, so I mean, what I mean is like, so we have a covered entrance, wait, 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 let's just do this. Let's have the door frame like this. Yes, 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 yes. These don't need to be windows. Uh, for now, oh, we got upper floor stuff. Huh. So could we, could we do that now? Okay, it is mega dark. Now it's daytime. Oops. We're gonna need some bricks out of you. So if we can build the downstairs now, then we should just plan it out, right? That means we're going to have to demolish what's down there. Okay, for now let's do this. What are you doing? Just spinning? Sure. And 
enjoy your stuff. Where's the ceiling? There it is. Duh. Means resources that we can't really give up, but um we're gonna have to. Suppose we can start doing things like this, such as deconstructing you know, the walls and stuff, but we don't need it. Hmm. How do we start going about doing this? I bet you woke up today and said, you know what? I'd like to watch this. <laughs> this riveting gameplay. Honestly, I usually do, um, like, cozy videos for these types of things. But today is a little bit different. And everything. Oh. Oop, that's all I want. Just gotta move it over. Bloop. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, let's start uh, deconstructing. this anywhere because there's no walls oh man where's the crude wall there we go we can have one wall Oop, we need to actually put stuff in it Um, let's put all this stuff in here for now. Oops. 
stone powder, please. Now some bricks. Brickety bricks. And we're actually kind of hungry, so we should probably eat something. Um, you and you. We got all this crap too, so we should probably start eating these. Because we don't need the cured meat or whatever. Okay, so if you want to do a split level, so for example, I want I want one that's about this level, right? Same as before. But we can't do it like this. So in order to kind of fake it, we have to do a little trick. And for that, we're going to need the crude portal. Because if you'll notice, it's actually the size of one of these, like one of the foundation blocks. So if we were to line up the corners, I believe that's lined up. Oh, before we before we set the one down next to it, we have to just throw it this one. So that we don't accidentally snap to it. I wanna put something here real quick. Just so we have a size comparison. If you look at this foundation, there's like a floor area. Right? And then a little lip that extends out. And you'll notice that it doesn't quite line up. Because the the portal fits only on the uh, floor part, not the lip. So we have to line up this thing against the lip, rather than the edge. Line it up on this corner. Oh, it's going to be so much easier. But the problem is we can't see just how high we need to go. Okay, finally. So that's a good height. Let's get rid of this. You know what, let's chop down this stuff too. Don't have need for it. Don't follow my garden. Really? That was stupid. Of all the directions could have fallen, he had to fall on that. Okay, let's extend this out. We should also go this direction. This structure cannot be moved. What? Oh, because I think I'm trying to move that guy.
Okay. That looks good. How much do we need? 52 lumber, 39 bricks. Oh, can't move. Can't move. That looks great. I think maybe we put the door frame here. Like that instead. Or it could be a triple door frame. You know, you walk through here. Either into the house or downstairs. We also don't have angled roofs, so we're going to have to do flat roofs for now. We're going to have to finish uh, the upstairs some other day. Oh, because there's no, there's no, nothing, there's no floors underneath it. So let's see, how, in order to get up these stairs, how are we going to do this? Actually, we have a big problem. Because we're uneven, we're always going to be off with our stairs. Let me, let's give you an example. So... Oh, you know what? I, I, know, how to do, I know how to cheat it. We'll put a, one of these here. Wait, this might actually work. No, that won't work. That won't work at all. Um, okay, and then we do this. Like so. Then we just delete this guy. Boom. The problem is that takes up a crap ton of room. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to undo all this. Also, part of that rocks me peeking through. I think what we should do now is just concentrate on this part of the house for now. We'll deal with the upper portion later. For now, let's um, let's finish this up and get our stuff moved back in. 
So this... I'm wondering if this should terminate in the doorway. Like, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe this is an open balcony out. Steps down. This is just, yeah, like open balcony with a roof. Do we have pillars? We don't have pillars. This is all basic. Um, so, for example... Do a window, window. This is not enough room. Well, actually, no, it should be fine. It should be okay. Let's put some stairs here. This is all pretty much just temporary. And for now, we're going to, have to do a flat roof. Too bad. Okay, now the question is, what's it gonna cost us? A hundred and fifty-six lumber. That's three hundred trees. Forty-eight beans. Okay, okay, that's gonna be even more. Uh, how many is that? I think it's two. Two lumber per one beam. Two lumber per one beam plus two straps. Which is fine, we got plenty of oh, leather. But that's another hundred. So it's a hundred more lumber. So 256 lumber. Okay, so for four poles, well, let's just say 260. Sorry, no. 270. 
So that's uh, over 500 tree or wood. Yeah. I think I'm going to go farming and we'll complete the, the house in the next episode. Because I think for now, I think this is a bit too much for us to handle at this moment in time. But I think so far the design is pretty good. I mean, it's it's not perfect yet because we don't have the better roofs. And actually, I want to cut this inward for some reason. Like I, There's something I want to do. I want to change about this. This front looks kind of boring. Actually, I know what I want to do. And I want this to angle downwards like this. If that makes sense. So we're going to have a big V with this one coming down low. So this is going to change. Yeah, so if you can imagine, it's going to be a V like this that goes up to here, to this point, and then straight down this way towards this point. So this will be a long side, this will be a short side. Also, there is something we do need to change, and that is this needs to be a balcony. Although it looks kind of ugly right now because there's no railings, there's no poles, so let's just remove it for me. Alright, I think I'm going to end the episode for here today. Unfortunately, we didn't get the house finished, simply because we need so much more resources in order to actually complete it. I'm going to be doing all that off camera, and then we'll just finish up the next episode. Hopefully, it'll be great. <laughs> it should be great, right? It should be great. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I know it wasn't very action-packed, but I think these episodes are also pretty important to see what goes on like in the, the building side of things. But yeah, I'll catch you all next time, alright? Peace.